Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my soft wave, not beach waves, it's just a bend, just a bend in the hair tutorial. I've been wearing my hair like that um, in the past, like actually in all my videos recently, I've been wearing my hair like this a lot. Obviously, this is the before of my hair, but what I love about this style is it's very like effortless and unpolished looking, which is kind of, you know, trending right now to just look like you're undone and not done up all the way. So it's very unstructured, unpolished, and chic, depending on how it turns out. Sometimes it doesn't turn out the way that I want it to. All I did to my hair, I just washed it, so it's really clean right now. As you can tell, my hair is pretty flimsy on its own. Um, and I am gonna be doing this video with no hair extensions because I feel like this look, or this style looks really good without extensions. Like I feel like you don't need that full of hair. Like I'm okay with it without it, you know what I'm saying? But. I think it looks really good with extensions as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The curling iron I'm gonna be using today is this one. This is a Conair one and a quarter inch curling iron. I would recommend using a larger barrel, barrel like this one, not so much a small one. So, hey, now she's afraid of me. And I actually bought this in New York for like $20, which I think they're only like $12 at Target, but I bought it for $20 at a Rite Aid in New York because when I was there, I forgot a curling iron and a wand. I forgot everything. Um, and I wanted my hair to be curled. So I bought it there and I've been using it ever since. I really like it. I'm just gonna be wrapping it around though. I'm not gonna actually be using the clamp in it. So you can totally use a wand instead. I love me a wand. Obviously the biggest part of this is how you wrap the hair around the curling iron and what direction you go, as is with most curled hairstyles. You can also do this with a hair straightener, but it's a lot harder to do on yourself. So I'm gonna be taking a one inch section of hair. You're gonna make it like parallel with your hairline, I guess you could say. You're gonna take it like this and you're gonna wrap the hair upward towards your scalp or towards your part. So you just do one wrap, then you let it go and then you pull it straight. Like that. So it's just putting one little bend in the middle of the hair. So I like to pull it down a little bit. I don't wanna wrap it up, up too high. I pull it down basically towards my eye line. I wrap it, release it, and then you wanna pull it. So I actually filmed this hair tutorial a few days ago and I, I didn't like the way it looked because I ended up wrapping it too much and it made my hair look curly, which is not what I wanted. So you only wanna wrap it around one time. Like even with me, my hair is pretty long I mean, I don't have a lot of hair, but it's really long. So even with my hair, I only do one, one wrap around. I'm gonna go to the next one, put it like right at eye level, wrap it around. And pull it straight. So I like to do the top layers of my hair with the bend right at my eye line. And then as soon as I get to the longer layers, I bring it down to like my chin area because I do have a lot of layers in my hair. All right, so this is one half of my head and sometimes this front section plays in me a little bit. It gives me like some 70s hair vibe. So what I do is I just pull it around to kind of get the hair out of my face. So I'm gonna finish the other side and then I'll show you what kind of products you can add to make it a little bit fluffier um, and just a little bit more texture. I feel like this side's working a lot better than the other side was working. Story of my life. I just can't do what I want it to do. See like right here how it does this. Some people really like that. I like, I can't have hair in my face like that. It'll drive me crazy. But this side always does it. So what I do after I curl it, I take the same chunk and I just wrap the base of it back. 
signaling my hair to get them out of my face. Sometimes I gotta add like, like see how I do like one right here that's a little bit higher, just so it's not totally straight right there, but I don't do it across my whole head. Just like one section, just add a little wave right there. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, this is actually what it looks like, not kind of what it looks like. After you finish kind of uh, curling it up a little bit, now, it really depends on how you feel about it. It took me a second to grasp onto the fact that my hair wasn't fully curled like this, uh, but I really do like it. Now this side, it did get a little bit of extra curl. I think with this, this chunk right here, uh, but I am gonna show you guys what I do also if you wanna fix that, like if you curled it too much. Hair straightener. This is what I use, like if you have really healthy hair, you probably don't have to worry about this, but for me, sometimes like up in the front, like this one will just stick straight out that way. Um, if you take a straightener and just smooth it like a couple times really lightly, you don't need to like steam it out, but just to brush it through a couple times just to kind of tame it back down, bring it back down to reality. And then also I think I'm going to make this curl and this one just a little bit straighter. See, I really like this side. This side is like exactly what I'm looking for. This one's got a little bit too much curl in it. So I'm really just taking out that bottom bitch. wave. Excuse me, John? Bottom bitch. And like for me, I gotta run it through real quick or else she can get crazy on my hair. It'll just straight fall off if I hold it on there for too long. There we go. And you can just take pieces. You don't have to take the whole, whole enchilada. See, just a little bit of straightening can bring it, tone it down a lot. Now I feel like this side is a lot, blends in a lot better with this side. Like it's just a lot more, just a little texture, not a full blown curl. But that's what I'm talking about last time when I filmed this video before, I wrapped my hair around one and a half times and I basically had like a mermaid curl, which was not what I was trying to do at all. That's why I ended up refilming this video. Um, but I really like the way that it turned out today. This is exactly what I'm looking for when I'm doing this type of hairstyle. It's, it still takes me some time to like really just wrap it around once because my ass will have ringlets by the end of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know when to stop. So now if you just want to leave it like this, see, I like the way that this looks just kind of flat, a little bit more flat than like what I'm used to doing. Or you could tease just by your roots a little bit more. And you can also add some texturizing spray. Now, I have noticed when I add texturizing spray, it tends to make my hair um, a little bit too tacky and messy for this hairstyle if I put it in the ends. But what I like to do is kind of focus it more up in the roots a little bit, just to give it a little bit of puff up here and then leave my ends bare. But what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit up to the base, like roots of my hair. Anyway, I'm gonna be using the Way Hair Care. This is the new hair care line from Jen Atkin. She does all the Kardashians hair. This stuff smells really, really good. This is the texturizing hairspray. It is heavily fragranced, which I thought I wouldn't like, but I really, really like the smell of this. Anyway, I'm gonna add some of this into my roots. and just kind of fluff it up, fluff it up, fluff it up a little bit. And then it kind of like for me, the shape of my hair, I just wanted to come out a little bit more right here and then let it fall. So you can see it just adds a little bit more texture right in this section of my hair, like compared to this side is a lot more flat. Wow, this turned out so much better than the last time I filmed it. I'm very pleased today. I was like, I can't put up a hair tutorial where I don't like the way my hair turned out, you know? It's just stupid. Okay, so now you guys know I got some broken hairs up in my life. I like to call them baby hairs, but they are not baby hairs. It's all broken. I have like a, a mohawk after I blow dry my hair right here. So you're probably wondering like, why do I have a toothbrush so close to my head? Is that my toothbrush? No. So I'm gonna tame my flyaways using a toothbrush and the hairspray I'm using is O John's, yes, this is John's hairspray, uh, Osis. I don't like to use this in my hair, like, directly. This spray is extremely firm hold. It will make your hair crunchy, it'll make it look wet, all the things I don't want, but John really likes for his greaser hair, right? 
No shade. So what I do is I just spray a little bit of it in the toothbrush and paint. See that? Can you see the difference? Again, if you have healthy hair, probably not something you have to worry about. And then sometimes, sometimes, I do it right here. I like swoop this into the undercarriage like this. But these, the broken hairs I've had up in the front of my head, these right here, this stick straight down, those have been there forever. Just blessing my hair, my life one day at a time. There we go. And it kind of keeps them like off my forehead for like five minutes. One day these hairs will grow back. I'm hoping, hoping man. I'm done fluffing my hair, that's that's pretty much it. That's really it. It's a, uh, I feel like the main thing to take away or if like I'm trying to explain to somebody how to do this hairstyle is to only wrap it around the curling iron once. Once you do it more than that, it's game over. Your hair is mermaid hair. I mean, you could straighten it out, but just saying like to have the self-control of only wrapping it around once, that's where, that's like the key, major key. All right, so that wraps up the hair tutorial. This is currently my favorite hairstyle. Just really out the door, effortless chic. I didn't even try. No fucks given. NFG. All right, so let me know what you guys thought of this hair tutorial in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Am I tan right now? And I will see you. No, I don't want to do that one. I don't like that sign off. This is me. You can take it or leave it. Oh, you bitch. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 do I look extra tan? Can make some audio? Uh, hey guys, so in today's video. Zo. Uh, oh. John, do you like my lipstick today? Zo, you don't want to be with me? Come on. What color do you think it is? Poop. Come on, whatever, You're dead to me. I wasn't close to her with the curling arm, by the way. Don't worry, I was just making the noise, please.